developing tonight, a Racine daycare worker could soon face charges after her car was stolen with two kids inside. Fox 6's Sam Kramer spoke with the mother of one of those children. He joins us live now in Racine with more on their story. Yeah, hi there, Steph. Kendra Navarro tells us her daycare provider was taking her daughter to go get her nails done and then to go out for eat. What Navarro says she didn't understand was that meant taking a trip north to Milwaukee County, which is where she'd eventually pick up her daughter at a police station. From the safety of their home in Racine, Kendra Navarro and her eight-year-old daughter take comfort in each other, a different feeling from what happened a week ago Monday. I have never felt any fear like that before in my life. At the end of her shift as a nursing assistant, Navarro took a phone call. A Glendale police officer told her her daughter was at this station after an unknown suspect stole the car she was riding in. A stranger hopped in the car and took off with my daughter and another kid in the car. That car belonged to a Racine-based daycare provider. Glendale police say the woman was picking up property from a home on West Green Tree Road around 4.30 p.m. She turned the car off but left the keys, Navarro's daughter, and a two-year-old inside. That's when police say a man got in and drove off. My daughter asked him what he was doing, and he didn't reply. She asked him again, and he didn't reply then either. He just kind of pulled the car over and hopped out and left my daughter and this other young kid on the side of the road in the car. Police say he pulled over just blocks away on Range Line Road, leaving the kids inside. Navarro says her daughter then told a neighbor to call 911 and the investigation began. After not referring charges initially, Glendale police told us Monday they have referred a charge of leaving a child unattended in a child care vehicle to the district attorney's office against the daycare worker for review as Navarro hopes for accountability. Your purpose is to watch other people's kids and you owe those kids a safe place to be, especially when you're certified to do so. And Navarro adds that she is hoping police can catch the man who stole that car and, and really started this situation. We did reach out to the daycare worker today for comment, but she declined our request. We're live tonight in Racine County, Sam Kramer, Fox 6 News. Can't imagine receiving that phone call from the police saying your daughter's there. Thankfully, she was safe. Sam, thank you.